Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiana and in today's video, I'm super excited because I have a mini little David Yurman haul slash collection because I have like one other piece and I'm just gonna show them all to you and review them and let you know my honest opinions. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe down below and then of course, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So I have basically collected these pieces over the course of two life events. So one was graduating with my master's degree and then two is Valentine's Day. So um, I feel like David Yurman is kind of like what I'm into now in terms of jewelry. It's just really nice. Um, I get the mixed metals pieces. So the ones that are like gold and silver, I just think that they're really nice. The pieces are timeless and elegant and also really good quality. So before I show you what I got for Valentine's Day, one item is from my mom and dad, and then the other item is from me. It's like my Valentine's Day present to myself. I'll show you probably my favorite piece that I did pick out for my MBA graduation, and it is this ring that I have right here. So I have the ring that has like the solid gold band, and then the silver twisty bands and i just am obsessed with this so i wear this one on my left middle finger like that and the other pieces that i got are super cute and they go really nicely with this one so we're just gonna go ahead and open them um this is gonna be a pretty quick video because all this stuff is hella expensive so it's not like i have 10 things to show you guys but um i got a bracelet my first david yerman bracelet first of probably three more i think but here's the box i went to the david yerman in the domain to get this one and here she is so i wanted to get the bracelet that had the hook in the front and then it has the um i think 18 karat gold in it as well so that is what she looks like let me put her back in the box and show you like a close-up oh my god are you joking i just dropped it and it hit my tripod i hope it didn't get scratched but um this is what it looks like in the box and it's just super pretty and dainty and i really do like how it has the gold and the silver because some of my watches and stuff for work are silver some of it's gold but if i just get a piece that has silver and gold it's like it's always matching and i used to not be a mixing metals girly but now i am so anyway um i got this one in a size medium because the man in the store said this one in particular runs smaller than the ones with like the open gemstones so basically you just like pinch it to get it open and then you kind of like pull it apart and it's kind of like hard to get on like let me just slide my hand in there but um you clip it like this i'm trying to do it with one hand if i was wearing this on my left wrist it'd be easier because i'm right-handed but there we go i got it on there and it's just super pretty and dainty and it's supposed to fit like a bangle if i had gotten this small it might have been too small to like have any room like any motion but there it is this one was 4.95 and i think with tax it was like 5.35 so honestly like not bad for fine jewelry this one was also 4.95 so um i hope i don't get robbed but honestly me personally i don't really take off my jewelry ever this necklace is solid gold these earrings are from amazon but whenever they get messed up i just like buy new ones but i have been wearing this ring in the shower and it has kind of started to like not tarnish but get dull but like you can just fix that with uh putting toothpaste on it so it's kind of nasty but that's what i do anyway um let's open up the ring so I got myself another ring to go on this hand with the bracelet. I'm all about like the aesthetic kind of like stacking of the jewelry. Like I have everyday pieces and stuff, but I got myself one of the rings that looks like this. So it's very similar to the ring that I got for my graduation, but this one just has a little X instead of a wrap around gold band so it's very pretty super dainty and cute that's how i like my jewelry pieces just like timeless and you know pretty but um 
the one thing I did notice is like I got it in a size 7 and yesterday it slipped onto my finger with ease and today I ate a bunch of like salty Mexican food so my fingers are like swollen today but it's like a little bit more snug on my finger but I can still like get it on and off like obviously pretty easily but yeah like I would say um I don't know I've heard gold is softer and more like stretchy almost than silver but like yeah this is like pretty tight on there today I could have probably done a seven and a half but then like for example I'm puffy today but then tomorrow when I'm not puffy a seven and a half might actually be too big uh let me know in the comments if anyone else like struggles with that but there she is now my finger is like a little bit inflamed from like putting it on and off and stuff but here's like my entire lineup of jewelry don't mind my hands they're like a little bit dry but yeah that is going to complete today's video just a very short little unboxing so let me know if you liked it and you know like comment subscribe do that whole thing down below but that is it so i will see you guys next time